Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a breaking update. We bring you real stories real fast, no fluff, just facts. Let's get into today's shocking development. Russia made headlines with the launch of the GTD-110M, a high-capacity gas turbine designed to power entire cities. This wasn't just another engine, it was a symbol of technological independence. For years Russia relied on foreign giants like Siemens and General Electric for these turbines. But after sanctions and political fallout, those companies left, leaving Russia in the dark, literally. The solution? Build their own. In October, the first GTD-110M was switched on at the Udarnaya power station, with President Putin attending virtually. This was more than a technical milestone, it was a declaration Russia could now produce critical technology on its own. The GTD-110M burns natural gas to generate electricity, forming the backbone of a modern power grid. By mastering this complex engineering feat, Russia wasn't just replacing a foreign part, it was building an entire ecosystem from scratch. The launch marked a turning point, signaling Russia's quest for technological sovereignty. Gas turbines like the GTD-110M are essential for stable, efficient energy. Their successful deployment showed Russia could overcome sanctions and international pressure. This wasn't just about keeping the lights on, it was about securing the nation's future. The Udernaya plant, in southern Russia, became the stage for this announcement to the world. The message was clear. Russia was no longer dependent on foreign technology. The GTD-110M's debut was a moment of national pride and a bold geopolitical signal. It proved Russian engineers could deliver under pressure. This achievement was the start of a new chapter for Russian industry. The story of the GTD-110M is about resilience, innovation, and a drive for independence. It's not just a machine, it's a statement. The journey to this point was tough, but the payoff is a new era for Russian technology. And this is only the beginning. The GTD-110M's creation was a crash course in self-reliance. United Engine Corporation, part of Rostec, led the charge, tasked with building a world-class turbine under heavy sanctions. No foreign help, no imported parts, everything had to be Russian-made. Engineers had to invent new alloys, design advanced control systems, and even build their own manufacturing tools. Power Machines, another Russian company, joined the race, spurring innovation through competition. This wasn't just copying old designs, it was about building new expertise and an industrial base for the future. Even the welding equipment used was domestically developed, ensuring total control over production. The result? A turbine built entirely in Russia, from the drawing board to the factory floor. Sanctions meant to cripple instead fueled a surge in innovation and self-sufficiency. The GTD-110M became a symbol of what's possible under pressure. Russia proved it could adapt, innovate and thrive, even when cut off from the world. This project wasn't just about an engine, it was about building the capability to shape their own technological destiny. Every piece, every process was a step toward independence. The GTD-110M is more than hardware, it's a declaration of technological freedom. Russia's engineers and factories now stand ready for whatever comes next. The world took notice, Russia was forging its own path, and they're not looking back. Building a turbine is one thing, proving it works is another. Before its official launch, the GTD-110M faced grueling tests, 72 hours of non-stop maximum load operation, feeding power directly into Russia's grid. The turbine passed with flying colors, meeting all performance targets. This wasn't just a technical win, it was a validation of years of hard work under tough conditions. Russian engineers didn't just match foreign standards, they aimed to surpass them. The GTD-110M is reportedly lighter and more compact than its Western rivals, making installation easier and reducing costs. This shows Russian innovation went beyond imitation, they improved on the original. The successful tests gave Russia credibility on the world stage. It proved their industry could deliver reliable, efficient high-tech machinery. The GTD-110M is now a proven powerhouse, not just a prototype. For Russia, this was more than a pass-fail moment, it was a statement of competence. The world saw that Russian technology could stand shoulder to shoulder with the best. The rigorous testing process silenced doubters. The GTD-110M is ready for real-world challenges, and it's just the start of what's possible. The GTD-110M wasn't built for show. It's powering the Udernaya plant, 
a key part of Russia's energy network. With its installation, the plant's capacity jumped by 23%, now supplying 10% of the Krasnodar region's electricity. This boost means more reliable power for homes and businesses in a fast-growing area. The new turbine helps prevent blackouts and supports economic growth. For Russia, controlling its own power supply is a matter of national security. No more worries about foreign suppliers or political disruptions. The Udernaya plant is just the beginning. These turbines will modernize plants across the country. The shift to Russian-made turbines changes the energy landscape making the grid more stable and resilient. It's a blueprint for rebuilding Russia's energy infrastructure. The GTD-110M is already making a real difference on the ground. It's not just about numbers, it's about energy independence. Russia is now in control of its power future, and the world is watching. The GTD-110M's launch was a political event as much as a technical one. President Putin called it a milestone for technological sovereignty, highlighting Russia's new independence in a critical sector. Other officials echoed this, framing the turbine as proof that Russia can innovate and thrive under pressure. The message to the Russian people's strength, resilience, and self-reliance. To the world sanctions won't stop Russian progress. The GTD-110M is now a symbol of national pride and a new era of self-sufficiency. Leaders see it as reclaiming a legacy of engineering excellence. The turbine's success is a carefully crafted message. Russia is back in control of its technological destiny. It's more than machinery. It's a statement of intent. The world is meant to take notice. Russia is charting its own course. What does a power plant turbine have to do with airplanes? More than you'd think, both use gas turbine technology, complex high temperature engineering at its finest. By mastering the GTD-110M, Russia proved it can handle the toughest parts of jet engine design. The skills, materials and manufacturing techniques developed here are directly transferable to aviation. This breakthrough could jumpstart Russia's efforts to build competitive aircraft engines for both civilian and military use. The GTD-110M is a technology demonstrator showing Russia can tackle the next big challenge world-class jet engines. Success in energy is lighting the way for Russian aviation. The leap from powering cities to powering airliners is now within reach. The future of Russian flight starts here. Russia isn't stopping with the GTD-110M Rostec is already investing in hybrid and electric propulsion for aircraft, aiming to leapfrog current technology. These new systems could power everything from regional planes to drones, focusing on efficiency and lower emissions. By developing expertise in batteries, power electronics and advanced controls, Russia is building a foundation for the next era of propulsion. The GTD-110M is just the beginning, a symbol of a broader strategy for technological independence. The knowledge gained is already shaping Russia's future in aviation and beyond. The goal, a resilient, innovative and self-sufficient industrial base. Russia is positioning itself for the green aviation revolution. The journey from energy to aviation is underway. The world is watching as Russia builds its future, one engine at a time.